Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Before children learn their alphabets, they learn how to imitate others. That happens to be an innate trait in all human beings. We all learn the most basic habits this way, like eating, sleeping, and how to communicate. While parents might find this habit to be annoying or funny when their kids are younger, they understand that in reality, your child is undergoing an important part of their development. Have you ever heard the old saying, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? I hear it all the time. Folks will say things like, you're just like your mom, you're just like your dad. Well, I strongly believe that children are a lot like their parents. And King Harris is proven to be a chip off the old track lock. So if y'all don't know, T.I. has yet another family situation on his hands. His son, King Harris, was arrested on Wednesday, August 31st. It's unclear what led to his arrest, but King, who just turned 18 years old a few days ago, made it clear that that he's not fond of the police after his latest brush with the law. Harris posted a series of videos on his Instagram stories, basically sharing stories of his arrest and reacting to those criticizing him for getting arrested. In one video, King can be seen sitting in a car with a female friend after being released from custody. And basically they're going over all the violations they received. And King says he was slapped with four violations while his friend was given one for not wearing a seatbelt. Then he goes on to write on Instagram, a little minor setback for a major comeback, fuck him. And if you see how he's writing, he's clearly writing in gang speak, but we're not even gonna go there. Anyways, once at home, King then continued to speak about his arrest and then started going off on people, telling folks to suck his peen. Then he jumped in the bubble bath, child, like he was Scarface himself. Say hello to my little friend. And said that folks shouldn't be worried about him getting arrested, that it's his business. Then he went on to say, you know what? Y'all are right. We too rich for this shit. Followed by a bunch of laughing emojis. Then he goes on to say, I'm sorry that a motherfucker caught me while I was on my way to vacation. I'm sorry I was doing what a young nigga was supposed to do. I ain't want to be in there. King then goes on to address people who claim that he's trying to be gangster and basically look tough now because he has a mugshot and he's been arrested. So at that point, he snaps. I want y'all to go ahead and check out this video. It was like that damn. I got one for not wearing a seatbelt. And then that one. Right. And then you got man. four. I got hell, mom. And I don't understand how y'all think a motherfucker think it's gangster to get caught. Like driving or whatever. Y'all niggas get the fuck off my dick. Yeah, y'all right. I get, nigga got too much money. This how a nigga's supposed to be every day. But shit, I'm sorry that a motherfucker caught me while I was, you know what I'm saying, on my way to vacation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I thought I was doing what a young nigga motion was supposed to do. I ain't wanna be in there. Yeah. Everybody that say a nigga trying to be gangster. Nigga, I ain't asked for the police to pull me over, y'all bitch ass niggas. Fuck. <laughs> Another thing, when was it said that gangsters have to do this with police and hey, 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 hey. Y'all stop this shit. Y'all stop this shit, all this shit. Hey, it's a part of life. Gangster or not, black or white or not, it don't matter. All right, so y'all just saw that video of King going off. Now, if you recall, in May of this year, I had did another video about King Harris being filmed. And in that situation, he got into a verbal altercation with a Waffle House employee in Atlanta. And basically, King was upset because he discovered that there was a bunch of pickles on his hamburger and he doesn't like pickles. So then he proceeded to start cursing in the Waffle House and the employee asked him politely to please go outside with all that, you know, cussing and carrying on. And then King replied back to them was like, he can talk however the fuck he wants. Um, he bragged about, you know, having more money in his pocket compared to what they make in a whole year. He then proceeded to flash his cash and even threatened to pistol with one of the employees. Let me go ahead and refresh your memory. Check this out. First of all, no. first of all, that he wasn't cooking my shit. Yeah, recook. Re what? Right 
Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Where y'all is at? This are you? So what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yes, sir. I'm about to go ahead and J down. I'm about to go ahead and J down. They got me fucked up. And I hope I nigga think I won't jump across that table. I I watch this. Watch this. Not right now. What? Yeah, I ain't think smart while I'm in this motherfucker house. Show out. Watch me. I customers. I don't give a fuck about no customers. Watch. Goddamn. It ain't no pickle on that. Bet everything. Bet everything in that you work for is a pickle. Like what? <laughs> if it ain't no pickle on there, I'll give you a thousand dollars right now. Stop fucking playing. Uh, it's be and I'ma look at my shit. Let it be some spit or something on me. Let it be some sp spit or something on my mouth. And what? I'm getting off live. I'm getting off live. Watch. Watch. Cause what I'm trying to say is, I nigga, I ain't whispering. But what I'm saying is, they wasn't. You can talk like that outside. Hey, I can talk how the fuck I want to where I, wherever I'm at. I'm on live, Shawty. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. This ain't your fucking restaurant. This ain't your fucking restaurant. Everything you make, I can pull out my pocket right now. I ain't tripping on you. I ain't tripping. Get the hell out of my face. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Who the hell is he? What's your name? My name King. You know it and your mama know it. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Tell your mama happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. That fire show shit. Come back. Come back. What? Come on game what? On game what? Come here. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. I'll show you what I do. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. We out here. We out here. I'm outside. I'm outside. Come on. Shake some. Come on. Shake some. Come on, shake some. Hey, get your employees. Get your employees. Yeah, shake something in this. Tell your mama happy mother. And you still talking inside though. You still talking inside though. Why you inside? You can't stop me from doing shit. I'm doing shit. Let me get my food. Thank you. Just talking like they like that, they ain't like that. Before I get back here and piss with them. Fuck. Wait till I get back and see him out here late night. Wait till I slap him. Alright, yeah. Yeah, wait. Don't be in this bitch. Wait till I come back in the month of late night. And then it's just you and I slap you up. Yeah. You trying to act all tough. All like this in front of all your people. Tell your mama I said happy Mother's Day. And then can in my face and shit, like what? Why oh, I slap her with this money? Hey, cuz. Hey, cuz. I don't know who the f um, slapped out his fucking mouth. I swear to God, I was maybe arguing with you the whole time. I had to walk out and be like, bro, I'm not gonna argue with your ass, gay. Argue with your ass, with your ass, gay. I walked out. He up in this bitch. Come on, come on. I told come on, come on. Come on. we outside, and he's still talking inside. He's still talking, he's still talking, he's still talking inside. inside. I'm telling him to come out. I was outside. I'm telling him to come out. Man, them, hey. I'm going, what? Man, what? Because they, hey, hey, all right. All right, no song, no song. What are you? Those
shot. I know he's a pro wrestler and everything, but obviously he can make some sauce. Check that out. Look at the dough. Ain't you supposed to be in class, that boy? All right, so y'all just saw that video. This entire situation's a mess. It's clearly obvious that T.I. and Tiny have a lot on their hands dealing with this kid. Um, as of this video, neither T.I. or Tiny have commented on the situation, but I know they have to be low-key embarrassed because let's think about this. T.I. actually struggled and hustled his way out the hood. I'm talking about staying in and out of trap houses, selling drugs, doing what he could do to survive the streets of Atlanta, only for his son, who's never had to deal with any of this stuff. He's always grown up pampered. He's grown up wealthy. He's never wanted for anything. So it's very interesting how the child who was pampered the most is sitting here constantly finding himself in these gangster types. So I don't know. I don't know if T.I. and Tiny will address this situation. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But I leave this question off to you guys. What do you guys think about this entire situation? Do you agree with me that sometimes the apple doesn't fall far from the tree? And then also, how do you feel about King's latest antics? This is the second time, you know, that he's been on Instagram Live just wilding out on people. Granted, he can't necessarily control, you know, if he's going to be pulled over and arrested. But the fact that he's going off on people and cussing folks out, it's like, you know, it's just not that serious. But he's constantly finding himself in these situations. So on that note, thank you for tuning in. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this. Don't forget to share the video. And most importantly, make sure that you're still subscribed to the channel. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.